Fix My Ugly Lawn episode 14. Wow, already. It's time for a PGR lawn update. Hello, YouTube. Welcome to Project Golf Course Lawn Season 5. And this is episode 14, if you can believe it already, of the Fix My Ugly Lawn series. So it has been uh, a little over two weeks since we first applied PGR, and it's been, what did you say, six days? Well, six days, yep. Six days thereabouts since we last mowed the lawn when Alex was out of town. So I want to show you guys that. He has not mowed the lawn in six days, and what we applied is T-Nex, and he want to show you guys. I'm itching. I'm itching to mow it, though. How I was looking. See, he want, he want to show you guys. He really wants to, to, to mow it, but uh, we, um, you know, we're showing, we wanted to show you guys the results of just applying uh, T-Nex to the lawn. So overall, you guys can see Looking pretty good. I mean, it's a little bit long, but if we had to say the height of cut here, um, I mean, I don't know what we'd say that. That's still just under, like right at half inch, just under half inch. I mean, that's, that's looking pretty good in my, by my math. Um, uh, and then we see Stella had her, had some fun here, but you know, this is, this is what Bermuda guys, you really can't hurt it. Even if you have a dog, Bermuda is the grass you want to have if you have a dog, yep. because uh, you know, literally a week or two, week and a half, that's going to be gone. Completely, completely fixed. Um, something else we want to show you guys, it's kind of weird. We may have to rethink our uh our insecticide program here so alex what did you find this morning down here i just noticed actually just before we started recording was these shrubs it looks like sure looks like it yeah yeah we have to get out here with some uh some more caravan g and uh and, and take care of those guys we definitely don't want that in the lawn you know grubs are one of the few things that will ruin your lawn with a quickness so um we will uh we'll definitely see about, about doing something about that. Let's take you guys around for the rest of the lawn and show you guys how that's coming through. All right guys, so you know one of the main goals was to get the vanity strip looking nice and solid. And as you can tell, if you take from my lawn all the way up to, uh, to the end of Alex's, that looks really good. It's really nice and green and lush. And I'll take you guys back here and show you how the front lawn is coming in. Again, this has been uh, six days, almost seven days since being cut. And all we've applied on this is T-Nex at full rate. And that's looking, looking solid, guys. If you guys remember, it was a little bit yellow um, whenever uh, you know, I, I cut it with the Greens Master. Actually, I, I sent it to, um, sent the picture to Alex. And what do you say? You said it was like- It looked like a mustard salad. <laughs> like a mustard salad. It was, it was green and yellow. You know, the thing is, I made one pass with the Greens Master and I was like, eh, that's a little lower than I thought it was gonna be. I said, well, it's the only one way out of this now. So, yep, yep ended up double cutting it. And it, uh, it, it came back really nicely, as you guys can tell. Looks. Lawn is looking looking pretty good. Back, yep. Let's go around to the front. All right, guys, and as you can see how the front lawn is developing, not bad. I mean, overall, it's nice and green now compared to how it was uh, before, um, just you know, just like a week ago. Think about it. We're in summer, and you could say what almost what happened with the Greens Master was a mild scalp, and yet the lawn's still green right back up really nicely. This right here, this this brown spot, is someone that was walking their dog. I actually saw them do it. So, so if you guys have dogs and you walk your dogs and you let your dogs pee on people's lawns, that is not nice. Don't do not do that. Just yes. just as a, as a tip, that is not cool. <laughs> um, we'll take you guys around to uh, the, the side lawn area. We had some spurge that we were dealing with, and we'll show you guys how that's coming. So we blasted it with uh, spectricide? Yep. Yep, hit that with some spectricide, and uh, it was browning up pretty, um, pretty good last time I, I looked at it. We, there's one area I think we need to hit again, but overall, let's spectricide, man. You can't, oh, look at that, yeah. That's lovely. Look at, look at how, how brown that spurge is. Yeah, I'm not sure if you guys are seeing that, but like up here, obviously we need to hit this spot. Looks like again, like right in there again, but overall, if we look back overall, you see all that brown? That brown is not grass. That is dead and or dying spurge that's on the lawn. So, uh, so what do we want to do with that, Ron? Do we like, do we dig that out since we, we yeah. did or do we cut right over it? For me, I would pull it. Yeah. Like I, I don't, I wouldn't, like um, whenever I uh, sprayed uh, my lawn with, what was it, what did we put down on it? It was Dismiss and Speed Zone combo. Once it died, I actually went through and I actually pulled it. Um, the thing with spurge is, it drops seeds like all over the place. So really, unless you're really careful, you could be spreading seeds around. But I mean, it's uh, pulling it to me is gonna get rid of it a lot better than um, cutting with the mower. Cause then you're really just spreading the stuff all over the place. Like literally if you cut this with a mower and so in case you guys have this problem and you end up deciding to cut it, if you cut this area, um, rinse off your mower before you go cut the rest of the lawn. So if you cut here with a mower, so like if you have something that looks like this and you decide, hey, I don't wanna weed it, um, Make sure you rinse your mower off, rinse the bottom side of the mower off before you cut the rest of your lawn because you don't want to be spreading these seeds uh, all over the place. So just something to, to keep in mind. But it kind of shows you guys, Spectricide is an amazing product. I mean, not only are we getting to kill the spurge, 
which is typically pretty hard to kill, but it's also got that, uh, that pre-immersion. So hopefully, hopefully uh, they won't come back. Well guys, that's probably what we want to show you guys. I want to give you an update of showing you guys how the lawn is developing. Again, this is right at six days since it was last mowed, and you can see how it's progressing pretty well. Uh, so I guess overall, so we're getting kind of we're getting down kind of near to the end of the Fix My Ugly Lawn series. If you had to um, talk about, I guess, the worst, the, the, the hardest parts about what we what we've done on, on in, in transforming your lawn, what would you say was the were the toughest parts? Uh, in scale, probably the hardest thing was probably aerating. Yeah. Just to just uh labor intensive right and another thing is just you know when you you know if you have tons of weeds like my lawn had uh, at the beginning of this series it's just getting on your hands and knees and uh, out in this heat to to go ahead and get all those out or uproot all of, all of those weeds yeah yeah well mowing so most people the big thing that give, well, i've had some other friends that have seen how the lawn has been progressing and they have thought oh well you know i want to get my, my lawn looking nice but that's a whole lot of mowing to have to commit to what about you what did you how do you find like the mowing after you started after getting into it a lot uh, about every two days i mean still stick with a two-day schedule uh mowing but i mean just you know gotta find the time for it yeah do you do you i mean did you say you hate doing it or is it kind of like at the point where eh? oh, i i enjoy it you know yeah. i enjoy it yeah, I think I think that's kind of the thing you guys will find too. Even though you guys that are that are kind of on the fence, you guys maybe found this um, on YouTube for the first time. You know, the idea of mowing your grass two to three times a week sounds crazy at first when you start when you think about it. And it probably is a little bit crazy, but the thing is, once you start getting those results and you I mean you start having a lawn that looks like that, I mean you you really you really enjoy it. You begin to like you know it's it's rewarding. It's great exercise, and um, that's that's probably the I think for me the hardest part. Like you know, top dressing is tough. Um, because it's a lot of work, but it's a one-time thing. But to really have a lawn looking like this, the big thing is just the consistent mowing. So, um, I so, can say it's semi-therapeutic. Yeah. It is. It is. It is. It is. I mean, it's, it's not work, and it's, it is. It is pretty relaxing. You know, yeah. something you just do, and it it makes the lawn look uh, look really nice. It's kind of rewarding. Well, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. We truly do appreciate it. Please like, share, comment, and if you're not yet a subscriber, consider subscribing. We're really happy you guys came along for this journey. We're probably gonna have to go out and get some Caravan G and uh, take care of that grub problem. Yeah. But you know, with a the lawn, there's always something to fix. So again, guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Have an amazing day.